Hello, my name is Dr. Vanita Singh. I'm an anesthesiologist with subspecialty training in pain. I'm here to talk about a nerve block procedure for abdominal pain called celiac plexus or splanchnic block or neurolysis. Celiac plexus is a group of nerves that sits in front of your spine. It receives pain signals from all your upper abdominal structures, starting from your food pipe to the large intestine, including your stomach, pancreas, liver, spleen, and part of kidneys. Celiac plexus then sends the pain signal to your spine, and which sends the signal to your brain in turn. With the procedure called celiac plexus or splanchnic block or neurolysis, we stop the signal before it enters the spinal cord. The block temporarily numbs the celiac plexus, whereas neurolysis destroys the celiac plexus. We do this procedure under x-ray guidance in an ambulatory surgery center setting. The actual procedure takes about 45 minutes. However, it will take three to six hours in total of your time as you have to come to the pre-op area prior to the procedure where we do our assessment and IV is started and after the procedure you spend some time in the recovery room before going home. We use thin needles to get into the right spot for this procedure. Once the needles are in good position, we inject contrast to make sure the medication will go to the right spot. If the spread looks good, then we go ahead and inject strong local anesthetic or numbing medication. At this time, we do a neurological exam to make sure you do not have any new numbness or weakness in your legs or feet. We will ask you to wiggle your toes and bend your knees to make sure nothing unexpected is happening. The local anesthetic will likely last only few hours to few days. Therefore, for pain related to cancer, we often go ahead and inject a medication that destroys nerves after the local anesthetic to give longer pain relief. This medication is usually medical grade absolute alcohol. The process of injecting medication that destroys nerve is called neurolysis. Relief with neurolysis varies from person to person and can be few weeks to a few months. Average pain relief is for about three to six months. If needed, this procedure can be repeated. The amount of pain relief also varies from person to person. About 80% of patients with upper abdominal cancer-related pain get about 80% pain relief. You will likely still be on some pain medications after the block, but hopefully it will not be as much as you need it now. Also, there is a likelihood that this procedure may not provide you any pain relief at all. The risks of the procedure include the risk of putting a needle anywhere in your body, such as infection, bleeding, or damage to the nearby structures. Nearby structures where we are going for the procedure include kidneys, lungs, and major blood vessels. Other expected side effects include temporary diarrhea, temporary dizziness, and possible temporary back pain. If you are interested in this procedure, then I would recommend discussing the risks and benefits of the procedure in detail with one of our providers. Thank you for watching this video. If you have any additional questions, please call us at 404-686-2410 or go to the website shown here.